This channel is a group of investigative journalists who make educational documentaries showcasing and educating society, especially parents and legal guardians, about potential scenarios that result from young people and adults conversating online if left unchecked. We conduct thorough interviews with consenting adults in an attempt to understand their perspective on why they partake in these conversations online with people that are not of age. The goal of the interviews in these videos and the videos themselves is to gain an understanding of the perspective of the individual being interviewed so parents and the rest of society can be educated and aware of potential thought processes and desires of adults online to unsupervised persons not of age. These videos are not to cyberbully, harass, degrade, accuse, or threaten any individuals partaking in the interview process or in the video itself. We do not condone any of these actions. These videos are strictly educational and we grant full permission for academia, which is any classroom setting or in scholarly papers to show or cite our videos. To ensure that these videos are strictly used for educational purposes, we strictly adhere to YouTube's community guidelines, such as not revealing someone's personally identifable information. In other words, PII. YouTube defines personally identifiable information as their home address, email addresses, signing credentials, phone numbers, passport number, medical records, or bank account information. We thoroughly look at and edit our videos to ensure that none of this information about any individual is shown in our videos. To ensure extra privacy for each person that is a subject of an interview in any of our videos, as of September 1st, 2022, to thoroughly comply with YouTube's harassment and bullying policy, there will be no mention or information about the last name or first name of any person in in our videos. Due to potentially illegal activities discussed in our videos, law enforcement in the respective jurisdiction we conduct these interviews in is notified of each interview and video filmed by us. We are not accusing any individual interviewed of being guilty or committing a crime. That is the job of law enforcement. We are not vigilantes and we do not condone vigilantism or vigilante behavior, such as taking the law into your own hand or not notifying law enforcement when a suspected crime takes place. We are investigative journalists. Trigger warning. Some of what can be discussed in these videos can be sensitive to some, emotional or stressful. The only goal of these videos is to educate the public. At the end of each video, as of September 1st, 2022, there will be an educational portion at the end to discuss what was talked about in the video and to discuss what people can take from that video and learn from and tell others about. Our goal here is to bring awareness and educate the public. Now the video will start. Um, it's about some messages online we just want to go over with you to some younger ladies on Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, if you just want to talk away from your sister, I don't want her yeah, to we, hear anything. We don't, we don't want her to hear nothing. Okay. We, want to, we want to keep it discreet and as private as possible. Yeah, okay. if you even want to tell her it's like some church stuff or something like that. Okay. Like yeah, no we'll cover for you. But yeah, my name is Gordon. Nice okay. to meet you. Tony, it's nice to meet you, sir. You got a beautiful area out here. Yeah, it is. Yeah, how long have you been living here for? Well, I was born and raised here. Oh, on this property? Mm hmm That's awesome, man. Yeah, what a great place to live. Make me jealous. I got to live in freaking Petersburg in an apartment. <laughs> but, yeah. So, did you go to uh, Virginia or... No, uh, no, I've just been a fan for, for years. Oh, man. They, dude, I try not to root for them too hard because they always let me down every March pretty well, much. Well... Football season let me down, but basketball seasons have been pretty good here lately. Yeah, true, true. It's either they go all the way or they lose to, like, you know, some community college. Yeah, There's no, no in-between. But, um, yeah. yeah, so it's about, uh, gosh, do you know uh, that was Ariel that was kind of talking to you recently? Yes. Okay. Um, you kind of know why we'd be here, like, just to talk about her? Uh, she, uh, she sent some messages about, you know, she wanted to know information about Telegram and stuff like that, and I tried to tell her I didn't really know a whole lot about it, yeah. as far as you know that goes. No, fair uh, enough, fair enough. Um, and we know you're a good dude, we know you're like doing the right thing. Um, how old is Ariel? I'm not sure, I think she's uh, 13, 14 or something yeah, like no, that. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, your absolutely. honesty. That's an honest human I mean, guy. That, 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 that really shows whenever a man is able to like recognize when he makes a mistake, I mean that, that really shows character. Yep. That yeah, really shows I, character. I, just, I was, uh, Send them back to last night. She, she said she was talking with other older men and older guys, and I told her then that, you know, you, she needs to be careful. Oh, 100%. 100%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, how common is it for, like, these younger ladies under 18 to just talk to people like this? Like, I don't know. It seems becoming more and more common. Really? Yeah. When did it start to kind of uh, blow up for you, like, these girls hitting me up like this? I just, I don't know, probably in the last few years. Oh, really? Yeah. What, you know what platforms they kind of congregate on, or...? Um, some on Messenger, and, and this is probably one of the few that I've seen on Telegram. Really? Yeah. Interesting. So, Messenger, what about Instagram? Um, not that I can think of. Okay, so more of just Facebook. That's right. What are some of the uh, age ranges that these girls have been, that, you, that you've seen online? Anywhere from, look, well, you know, it looks like maybe mid-teens to uh, early 20s, something like that. Okay. 
Got it. So about like 14 and up kind of, something like that. Mm -hmm. Fair enough, fair enough. Anything like younger than like 14 or 13? or Can't say that I am. Okay. Not, not knowing that. Not, not. Right. Fair enough. Um, yeah, so how did uh, Ariel get to talking to you? I think that was through Facebook to begin with. Okay. I think. Okay. Did she just kind of appear out of nowhere? Yeah. She... Okay. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, so you mentioned she talked about like a telegram and all that type of stuff? Yeah. Okay. What was the conversation like that about? She was wondering about what kind of groups were on Telegram and mm -hmm. which could she post on Telegram oh, and, really? and, and stuff like that. Yeah, Telegram's kind of a new one. What is Telegram like? I think Telegram is probably a little more private than, than some of the others. I think. I'm not certain. Okay. Uh, it's, you know, conversation-wise, it's you know, just back and forth. Did you uh, get Facebook or Telegram first? Like, what I've, had, I've had Facebook for years. Okay. When did Telegram start to become a thing? I've just had it for like the last couple of years. Oh, okay. So not too, too long? No. Fair enough. So is Telegram, is it more like groups or individuals or kind of both? Or? I, it was like I told her, I don't know anything about groups. Uh, I've talked to a few individuals on there, but that's all it's been, it's just a few individuals. Okay. Um, yeah, so... We're actually more concerned about, like, a lot of these girls are a little deviants. Like, I heard that they do all kinds of crazy stuff online. Is that is that true? I, I can't answer that. I, I don't know. Oh, okay. I thought I thought there was like a mention that some of them send stuff or something like that. Like well, some I've of had them. Some send some pictures. Some really? That you probably shouldn't be. They shouldn't be sending. What? Uh. And yeah. again, these girls are just crazy. Like like I mean, I I wonder where the parents are at. So like, what what were in the pictures? Like, what were the pictures of? I mean, so I mean, some of them are very. Uh, I mean, revealing. I mean, and I I'm not, I usually just delete them right off my phone. Were they like fully? Or partially, or? some of both. Oh, some really? of both. Yeah. Okay. Do you know round about how old those girls were? I can't tell you exactly. I'd say you know maybe mid teen but the days you can't really tell. I mean, yeah. like you got, 13, 14. You, you got 13, 14 year olds, man. Look like they're 17, 18 oh, years. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's true. Well, I guess because yeah. you know we're trying because basically parents kind of come to us and they're like you know our kids are going crazy and this and that. So maybe we're trying to identify who some of these kids could be that we're sending. Them. Absolutely. Like, obviously, you know, you don't know until you meet somebody how old they really are. But what were, how old were they saying they were? The ones that were sending all that crazy stuff your way? They really don't give an age, to be honest with you. Uh, they, you know, just for some reason don't. Was was it always photos, or was there any like videos as well? Because I heard I hear some of them make videos. I don't. I can't say that I've ever seen any videos. Oh. Or I've had any video sent to me anywhere, I'd say that. All right. Now, I mean, I know that Telegram especially, I mean, the Internet is a bottomless pit of filth. It just ruins good men like yourself. Yeah, like and I'm actually more concerned about the adults that are sending things on there because I feel like, you know, you're seasoned enough and mature enough for us to just be able to address this privately. And I feel like you could even help us find some of these bad people that are that are sending this stuff. Well, I mean, I've had them even, I mean, I've had some of them ask me to send them stuff, and, uh, but that's just something that, you know, I, I have absolutely no... What did they ask for, like, specifically? Usually looking for somebody to show you a penis. Yeah, pretty much. That's about the main thing that I've ever had people say, ask me about. Were they, I, these, like, kind of girls around Ariel's age just being that crazy, or...? I think they're somewhere in that age group, yeah. Oh, really? So you're talking, we're talking like these underage girls are just asking old men like you f***ing this bitch. Mm -hmm. What? Like, I, and, I just, you know, I, that's something I just cannot do. And sure. We all, we all get bored on the internet, though. I mean, we're all three guys here, you know what I mean? It, I'm sure a few times you ever slip up and send a photo of the No, sir. No? Nope. You get about that? No, just, I mean, it's, I know it's wrong. And, and, and I, some of them are just, you know, once I tell them that I'm not going to send anything like that, then, then they're done and I don't hear from them again. What's the reason you don't send anything to them? The reason I don't send anything like that because, uh, number one, because I just don't believe in it, regardless of whether they're teenagers or 30 years old. I mm -hmm. just don't feel like that's something you share on, on the Internet yeah. or, or anything like that. Have any of these girls around Ariel's age, have they tried to bribe you by, like, sending you in and then saying, hey, send me one back? Not really. I mean, they haven't. Okay. So what scenarios have they sent you? Because you mentioned that some of them have sent you some. Like, what 
what what is the context of them doing that? Like, do they just send it off the bat, or is there some talking beforehand? Or I mean, we probably have been talking some you know, prior, and yeah. then, you know, as we get, I guess the, the more we talk, then they, I guess they get a little bit bolder, and and, and that's you know when it happens. Fair enough. And you said that was on Telegram that they sent that to you. I've had it on both Telegram and, and Facebook. Yeah. Is that um is that is that um apps on a, a Telephone or is that apps on a computer? Telephone. Oh, a telephone. Okay, I think pretty much everything's on the phone nowadays, I right? Think so, yeah. It's understanding technology. You know, I'm right there with you. Right. So. Anything uh, like, have you ever had this app called like Onion or Tor before? Nope. No. Mm-hmm. What about like uh, Session or Viber? Or, nope. No, just Telegram. What kind, of, what kind of phone do you have? I got an iPhone 14. It's all cracked. I'm, I'm going to go to the store and buy a new one. What do you got? Samsung. Oh, you got a Samsung? What is it? Samsung Galaxy? Yes. Yeah, is, is that, how is that compared to the iPhone? Is that like, is that decent? Like the reception? I, I don't know. I've never had an iPhone. So, oh, okay. So I, I, I've always only had a Samsung. Yeah. No, I'm not, Samsung. I'm not team iPhone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. IPhones, that's for those young, young ends, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, when I first bought mine, the, he's a little older than me. The guy yeah. I, we went to the Verizon store when that's the one he recommended was, you know, to go with the, that, and that's what I've always bought. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, yeah, uh, you know, uh, yeah. I mean, the, the the internet is just a whirlwind, isn't it? I mean, you know, like, because I, I I mean, I understand that you're a Christian, right? Yes, sir. And the internet tempts us. Yep. And I mean, it depends on. I mean, sometimes we fall, but then we could come. We could come back up, right? Yep. And you know, again, part of coming back up is is helping out the community. And what, one thing that we do is we go after the producers of a certain type of material online yep. that adults send. And you know what material I'm talking about? Oh yeah. What am I talking about? You're talking about in, in that type of stuff. Is it like younger younger people? Right. Yeah. And, I know Telegram is not just young girls sending. I know that there's child on there, and like I say, I, that's the only, that's the only thing I have had happen with me is that it have been like just. Was, I, don't, I don't even know if I've had any sent on Telegram, just basically on, on Messenger. I think. Was there ever a time where somebody sent you something like so revolting that you just immediately deleted it, like any videos or anything like that? Not that I can think of. Right. Like I say, you generally when I when I receive anything like that, you know, I, I pretty much delete it. Okay. Yeah. Have Have you seen kind of a have, have people try to get you to go on like some other apps saying like, hey, I got these pics of girls. Are you interested in them? Like, have they tried to offer this to you before? Because those are some people that we might want to actually you know try to pursue. Not, not that I can think of. I, I haven't had that arise. Okay. Uh, it's always just been the girls that you know they end up sending it. And like I say. Uh, like I said, I, I, sometimes I think it's like they want me because they want me to send something back, but I just oh. I'm not gonna do that. I just can't do that. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, so you, you said oh, for the past couple of years, it's these like I guess younger ladies under 18 have been kind of like trying to talk to you and try to like just put themselves out there. From time to time, yes. How many do you think over the years have tried to do this with you? I don't know, half a dozen or, or more. Okay. Uh, how many of them get, like, kind of flirtatious, or how often do they get flirtatious? Like, I know some send you and all that stuff, but do any others get, like, kind of flirty with you, try to get you to maybe say, send or say some stuff, or? Uh, I guess somewhat they, they have, yeah. What do they try to say to you or get you to say? Just, they, you know, they, they try to start talking about sex or something like that. How does that usually go? Um, it usually ends the conversation. Okay. Fair enough, because there are some, uh... Things that popped up here um, with Ariel um, on your end. On your end, uh, it was said, and obviously, you know, we know you're a good dude. We know you're taking yeah. care of yourself and all 100%. that. Hundred percent. But you know, it was said on your end, like you know, I like to talk to girls of all ages and this and that. How did that kind of start becoming a thing for you? Like, what was that? Well, I mean, I just like trying to be friends. Okay. Basically. Sure. You know, uh, and that's pretty much all. Don't all that. Now that means is you know. I enjoy talking. I enjoy meeting new people okay. and talking with new people and everything. So when it when it comes to like just becoming friends, like you just kind of you're not too worried about the age because you're just being a friend. Of them. I'm just trying to be a friend. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Got it. Um, 
So, to Ariel, it was talked about, um, you know, do you have a boyfriend and stuff like, you know, have you ever had before and this and well, that? Yeah, I mean, she starts talking about it, you know, so and she wants to know what do, we, what do you want to talk about and, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And that's how the conversation went. Okay, so just both, you know, she just kind of took it in that direction and just yeah. kind of went along with it. Right. Okay. And like I say, she, I don't know, for some reason, she was really interested in groups or stuff on, on, uh -huh. on uh, Telegram. Telegram. I think a lot of children are just curious. They hear something, they get curious well, about I mean, it, they ask about it. It, it. It's so much of it out there. Mm -hmm. Man. Yeah, because kind of what it what it's looked like is, you know, we have a Samsung here, and Samsungs are pretty <laughs> way easier to use an iPhone. I mean, I hate iPhones. I mean, I would right. never own an iPhone. But Samsungs on the, on the flip side are kind of easy to kind of get into and see. Um, have you had people try to invite you to groups and try to suggest them to you because you know there's obviously a difference between you looking for them and you just people just hitting you up saying hey come join what i got going on i've been in i've been invited to some groups but nothing along the lines of, of that type of stuff okay groups on what platform uh like uh dating sites uh, <clears throat> something like that how many groups do you think on telegram they try to invite you to I have not been invited. I, no, I've got never got anything on Telegram as far as groups go. Okay. And that's why, I mean, it's just like I told her, I don't know anything about groups on Telegram. She seems to be very interested in groups on Telegram. Interesting. Interesting. Um, was, uh, I mean, other than Ariel, was there any uh, any other young ladies that come to mind that you've been talking to recently and, and, and you know again it's about honesty and getting you back on the right path like we know that you're a good christian and we want to get you back on the right path and here's here's the thing about demons right we have to get our demons out because if we don't get our demons out they come out later and they make us relapse right. so what uh and you know again i mean as a christian brother i mean i i was saved you know 20 years ago by jesus christ i love him right. and i want to get you back on the right path brother right. um what's what's some other young ladies that you've been talking to? Uh, no, no, no. I was in, in the, you know, recently that, that I've been talking to. Uh, there's one that starts with a B. I know, I, I know you know, Ben. You know, I just, I... You're talking about Brenda. Yeah, Brenda, that's okay. right, yeah. And, yeah she con and she she contacted me. Yeah. And that, that conversation, do you remember anything on that conversation at all? Nope. It wasn't at all. It was, uh... Do you remember how that conversation went? It just basically back and forth about, you know, how are you, what are you doing, what do you like, you know, that type of thing. Uh, you remember how old she was? I think she said she was 13. I yeah, think. 13, absolutely. You know, I mean, I, you know, coming here, I knew you were a man of integrity, and I mean, you really are proving it to me. Definitely. And that's, that's when you know someone, someone that really wants to turn it around is someone that's just honest straight up, and that's, that's what Christians do. Christians are honest. Um, was there, did it get a little flirtatious with Brenda, uh, you know? Maybe a little bit, you know, just, uh, yeah. but nothing, or anything like that. Right, how, how so flirtatious do you think? Like, what's, what's maybe something that you said that you might regret? I mean, not egregious, but. Something about, uh, she could be my girlfriend. Right. You know, something like that. Yeah, just like, girlfriend, boyfriend, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, That's and. All. And, you know, I mean, I understand that when we get, when we retire, we want to find people to talk to. We get lonely, yeah. especially later in life. And, you know, but, you know, whenever there's however many girls around that age range, I mean, there's obviously an interest in that age range, right? I mean, you remember telling uh, Ari that you were interested in girls her age? I don't remember telling her I was interested in it. I remember telling her I enjoyed, you know, talking to him. Talking to him. So what do you think it is about that age range that you like? I mean, we're all human. I mean... I can't really answer that honestly. I'd be, you know, it's, it, it's nothing, anything like that. I can, I can tell you that, you know. Is, it, is there an age that you just won't talk to? Like, what if they were uh, eight or nine? Like, would you still be friends with nope. them? or? Nope. No. So... What age would you say you'd be able, okay start, starting to be friends with? Mid teens and up. I mean, okay. but I mean, and like I say again, it's you know it's it's not a sexual thing. It's just you, you being friends. I mean, this is this is pretty light compared to the. I mean, because we've helped guys with internet 
families across the country, and they're all living better lives now. Right. And this is so light compared to what we usually see. I mean, this is nowhere close. Right. But, I mean, if, if we are being 100% honest, I think that there is a little bit of an attraction to that age range. Maybe not overtly, but right. would you agree with me that uh, there's... Possibly, yes. Yeah, and that's probably why the conversations are happening, right? Now, there's something to that attraction. Is it physical, mental, like what... Like, what, what do you think it is? Because, you know, we, in, in order to help you, we, we need to know the why of it. I just, I mean, enjoy conversation with me. You know, it's, I guess it's the, you, the times or whatever. Are there any guys around that age that talk to you that you're friends with? Or? Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's just strictly girls. Okay, so would you say the... It, they at least have to be at least a little bit pretty or cute to you because, you know, if it was just purely mental, you'd talk to guys too that age, but we're not doing that. Well, I mean, you probably if, they, you know, if they're you know, pretty, it's yeah, yeah. probably. That's yeah. fair. That's fair. I think, is your car still No, that's it. Oh, no, was that car? He's being honest about Yeah, sure. being honest about everything. Yeah. Uh,. Is there, um, you know, because I, I know some of these girls, um, I mean, since you were so transparent with us, we'll just tell you. Some of these girls are guys pretending to be little girls that are sending, like, up with these underage Well, kids. I kind of wonder about that, too. Yeah. Know, with knowing yeah. what's going on right, on, on the internet nowadays. Well, yeah. I got to ask, did any of these underage girls, like, they try to sell to you, or do they just kind of give it up for free? I can't remember any I'm trying to sell. Okay. Yeah, I can Did they uh, send the photos? Like, was it links to their photos, or was it just they just sent the photos in the chat? Or they just sent a photo, like maybe they took the photo, you know, themselves. Okay. Fair enough. What um, was it, uh, like was it like a selfie, or was it like on a webcam, or like what what was the quality of the photo? I think most to me, the, I think most of them have right, right, been like a well, selfie. Well, he's with their okay. cell phone or something like that. That's right. Well, okay. You know, they, they aim it to the mirror, they stand in front of the mirror, okay. or something like that. And is it like a full body in the mirror, or it, it, there have been some like that? Yes, yeah. some of them they just did uh, right, right, right. So. Kind of going back to the, sometimes it's just guys collecting those photos, sending them. So they send like a file. Um, sometimes the file, uh, it's called like a poison file, mm-hmm. and it automatically just saves to the phone. Um, have you ever seen any of those saved to your phone that you had to get rid of, like that were in your gallery at all? Or? Not that I can remember. Okay. Are there any like in any chats that maybe you have to get rid of that could just be in the chat or? Uh, it might be. I can't say for certain. Okay. Which I usually, usually end up just deleting chats too. All right. Okay. Just to kind of make sure that's not sitting on there. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. You know, uh, one thing, one thing that we could do for you um, is we have, we actually have a program that could clean your phone if you'd be interested in that. Um, would probably take hour, hour and a half. Um, I'll and pretty much delete. It wouldn't, well, deleting it doesn't actually get rid of it because it's in the network. Right. So we would actually have to go, like, into the network to, to get it out of there to, to, to delete you. We could call, we could probably call a te- our tech guy to come out here. I mean, if you, if you would be interested in that, we could definitely do that for you. Not right um, now. Maybe I might look at doing it later down the road. hundred percent, hundred percent. One thing that I'm curious about those, to those 13, 14-year-olds, like, just because, just because we are going to want to reach out to their parents just to make sure that they're not doing that anymore. Right. As far as, like, the development, on, like, a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being, like, double Ds, fully developed, with and 1 being, where, where were they at? I'd say probably a range of maybe 2 to 6. 2 to 6. Okay, so, like, 2, so it could have been, like, 11, 12, 13, 14 years old, stuff probably, like that. Yeah. Yeah, that, that that makes sense. And then just, you know, again, and fully getting our, our demons out. Like, as far as your attraction to uh, Ari, Brenda, because, I mean, they were pretty long conversations. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being, like, really attracted, 1 being not really attracted, wh- where, where were you at? I mean, just, just being honest, I mean, you obviously had an interest. I well, mean, I mean, I don't know that I had an attraction to them from, a, from, from the standpoint of you know, what you... We call an attraction, I, I, just an interest, I guess, in, in communicating with them. Right. So as far as the interest, on a scale of 1 to 10, what do you think? Five, maybe. Five. Yeah. I understand. 
What were uh, any potential plans that you wanted with them, or nothing? I mean, any ever wanted to like just hang out with them at all? Or? Not really. No. Do you know where they were from? <laughs> Ariel, I have no idea. I don't think she ever even said where she was from. Okay. Well, Brenda said she was from Richmond. Okay. Okay. Got it. Um, was there any uh, other ones that you could think of offhand? Uh, Those are the only two I can think of right now. What about one that starts with an H? Not, not coming to mind right now. Mm. I mean, if we're, if we're being like 100% little blonde chick... I know you're an honest guy, Ben. Uh, well, I mean, yeah. I'm trying yeah. to think. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, Haley. Did Haley ring a bell? Haley. Uh, it's all about getting you back on the right, right path, I brother. I and I'm, the name sounds familiar. She's a little deviant. Like, that girl is just, we, we, we call her homewrecker Haley. Because oh, yeah. she is just... Her last name, Brianna? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yep. Yeah, that girl is just nuts. She is uh, kind of wild. <laughs> yeah. How, how you're telling she, me. How did she get with you? Like, what was she doing? Well, I, I don't think she ever. She never shared anything in along the lines of anything like that. Yeah. Did she just type some crazy stuff? Uh, I I think so. Yeah. I could, best I can remember, she did. Yeah. Like, what was kind of the gist of that? To be honest, I can't really recall right now because it's been a few weeks. Okay. Yeah. Um, and, and of course, I've deleted all conversation with her, so I, you know, yeah. I can't can't recall right off. Would you say it was like? Would you say she was kind of overtly flirtatious, like more than the others per se? Or? Maybe a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What was the thing? I because kind of going through that, she was like calling you grandpa for whatever reason. I guess because of my age. Okay. And I pretty much I always tell them I'm you know like. 69, 70 years old. Yeah. Was the, was there like a little role play, like fantasy? I mean, you know, the old man gets on the internet, he gets bored, he gets... I mean, was there like a be bad for grandpa kind of like stuff she was doing? I don't think, no, did I ever ask her to do anything. Well, yeah, I don't think, I, I think it was just, I think it was mainly her leading it. Right. But was there like some stuff back and forth? It, Possibly could have been. I can't. I, like I said, I can't recall for certain. Yeah, yeah. These some of these girls are just wild, man. Right. Well, I mean, yeah. she was probably one of the wildest ones they ever talked to. Yeah. You remember how old she was? She was. Uh, she was thirteen or fourteen. Yeah, thirteen. Yeah, thirteen. Yeah, man. Yeah, some of these girls. Oh, I thought that was a lightning bug, but that's a skeeter. You can't see it yeah, now. Yeah, big down here. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm from West by God, Virginia. We had lightning bugs everywhere. Right. I grew up out in the country. I was out in the woods every day when I was little. Right, okay. Did you grow up out here? Yes. Mm -hmm. Born and raised here. Yeah. I lived in Franklin for, I don't know, 10 or 12 years because I worked at a, a location down there, and then I lived in Chester for about three years working at a location up there. What did you do for uh, work? I worked for Southern States for almost 30 years. And uh, the last, my last 12 years, I worked for the Department of Corrections. Okay, nice. Um, but uh, other than that period of time, I've always lived here. Oh, it's beautiful, man. Yeah, how long has you, have these properties been in the family for? This, this is the original home place. This has been in the family probably since back in the 30s, I think. Oh, wow. God okay. bless you. In fact, the original house... Was the front of it was at was about where the back of this house is, and that burnt. Dang. The, 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 my dad and them had gone to the fire, and it caught fire and burnt while they went to fire. Damn. Were you climbing these trees when you were young? I didn't climb them much, no. No? <laughs> Which some of them were not even here, like those trees there, and these pecan trees basically were not here when I was, you know, a child. Oh, this one wasn't here? No. Uh -uh. Okay, because th this looks like one that I would have climbed when I was little. You got any, like, wife or kids or anything? Or? Nope, I'm single. Okay. Never married, no t no kids. Okay. Well, um, I see. Is there a, is there a chance just to verify? Because we just want to make sure that there's nothing on your phone that could potentially be trouble with some parents down the line. Do you mind? And you, of course, like you know, don't feel obligated to. But do you mind if we just kind of go through your galleries to make sure that everything's good with everything? Well, I would prefer not because uh, I do have some pictures of some older ladies so just 
personally, I would prefer not. Okay. Well, we, we don't really care about, you know, I mean, we got pictures yeah. of like, big on our phone. Dude, you know. it's, my gallery's a bounce house. Right. It's everywhere, so. Yeah, no. I mean, people mm-hmm. mistake my gallery for either a watermelon pasture or chicks. But I will show you, I will go through mine, and if there's anything that needs to be deleted, I will delete it. Mm-hmm. I don't think it is, but I will delete anything that might need to be deleted. What do, what do you think the possibility is that there could be something on there that might be something with the parents? It's a possibility, but I don't. It's, it's, I think it's a slim possibility. Okay. Oh, well, that was a, another skeeter. <laughs> Got it. Well, we're kind of good at um, identifying those types of photos because, I mean, you know, he can kind of tell the difference between a 15-year-old and an 18-year-old. Yeah, I'm younger than him, yeah. so I can... I'm, I'm a better guesstimator of age. Right, right. Like He's I, younger, but I have a new yeah. car, so I just, just saying. I'd rather but. keep that private for, for now. And like I say, I'll, uh, I'll go through it, and anything that needs to be deleted, I will take okay. care of it. Because the only thing is, dude, like, we're honestly, both, we're obviously all three Christians here, and yeah. you know, we all want everybody to be on right. the right path. But, you know, what I said about an Android, um, you're not too good with technology, are you? No, no, I'm not a genius with it, no. No, yeah, exactly. Me me either, me either. But we're a little bit better than, I'd say, uh, somebody who's 70, especially him. I mean, he's only 24, and I'm yeah, 26. Yeah, but, exactly. Um, and and we are all Christians. There's no Jews here, you know what I mean? 100%. Yeah, no, I mean, in, in Poria, Virginia, Jews? Absolutely <laughs> not. Just, yeah. But... Um, Gotta go to Miami for that. All Gentile ancestry, too. None, none of these Lebanese, you know, phone exploding, oh, yeah. Arabs or anything like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. But... Um, but you know, we we kind of did a uh, we kind of did a scan of your phone before coming here, and that's kind of what confirmed it. Because you know, I know in the chats, like you know, said, oh, some kids, crazy kids sent you some bullshit. Right. But you know, our kind of thing is, <clears throat> as long as you weren't the one taking the pictures yourself, like that's obviously right. the big thing. Because we know you're not anybody; you're just a guy who's online, just wrong place, wrong time. But we did go through the phone, and we kind of did see some pictures on there that are a little bit. How would I put it? Kind of the picture you're describing is underage, a little bit underdeveloped. And to your, to your credit, I mean, dude, we've come across people who we don't even try to talk to because they have thousands, 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 and it's all like, you know, babies and all that shit. And, you know, you're obviously not with that. But um, nonetheless, we did see some underage pics kind of saved on your phone. Um, it's not a hidden folder. It's just in the gallery, right? Do what now? It's not, you don't have like a hidden folder, do you? It's just kind of in your in your phone gallery? No, no, no nothing hidden, though. Okay, so it was, it's just kind of in the gallery, right? Yeah. Right, so that's why we were able to scan it so easily. Um, I don't think there's too many. Uh, I mean, I counted, what, what did we say it was, like 11, 12? Uh, I thought it was half a dozen to a dozen. Does that sound about right? Probably. Uh, yeah. Okay. So do you think there's a good chance there's probably half a dozen to a dozen, maybe like pics of 13, 14, 15-year-olds on there? And that's okay. It's not the end of the world, obviously. That's what we're telling you about it. Uh, it probably might be. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm not going to say it's not. Okay. There's a, like an above zero chance. Yeah. Yes. Okay. No, that's that's totally fine. Um, and just to clear it up, it wasn't you going around in elementary school with a camera or anything like that, yeah, yeah. right? Okay. No, okay. No. Well, that, that's... Anything I've got on my phone is something that was sent to me. Okay. Yeah. No problem. I haven't taken anything. Yeah, no problem. And I wouldn't take anything. Yeah, well, I appreciate that. That's yeah, what separates and, you from a lot of these people. And, you know, I, I mean, I think you appreciate the fact of, like, how we've approached you just keeping as private and discreet right. as possible. Okay. Like, we don't want to cause right. any trouble for you at all. We're not going to, yeah, like, regardless of what you say, we're not going to cause any trouble for you. Yeah. We're not here for that. Like, you you genuinely are a good Christian. We want to help you get back on the right path. Right. And, you know, the police in this area, they do something called network sweeps, right. where they could actually go into the network and they could find those photos if we scrub them for you, they won't find them. Right. So, th- so, so that's why, I mean, I, w- I would really like to do that solid for you. We could guarantee that nothing else other than because um, it's an AI program that scans ages. Do you know what AI and, is? Artificial, artificial intelligence. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so go. basically we don't even have to look at anything. The program will scan it, and then basically uh, it will identify the ones that are young, scrub them from the phone, scrub them from the network. Uh, and uh, I mean... You know, we, we we want to get you back on the right path, and I think that's that that's the start of it. You could absolutely say no, but I mean, we well, want to. I appreciate you offering to do that, but like I say, yeah. I, I would prefer. I mean, to I'll delete them from my phone if, if there's anything that needs to be deleted. Okay. I, I will tell you that. And okay. I prefer to keep it. I prefer to keep my phone private as much as I can. Oh yeah. Are there any good like fried pickle places out here? 
I'm not sure if Fosho up Fosho. at the pilot truck stop with 58 and, and 95. Yeah, 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 yeah. Possibly, maybe. Is that Fosho. place, uh, that pickup, that pickup place? God dang it, I'm trying to think. The place that has the, the cheese steaks. Um, let me, uh, Pinos. Yeah, let me see. Can you unlock the truck so I can get my phone open? Yeah. See, look at the size of this guy's phone. Look at the size of him. It's Hold ridiculous. Your it fits him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I feel like I know him holding a real person's phone when I pick up his phone. Yeah, no, to him, this is like a brick. You know? Yeah, <laughs> I'm just like, wow, like that's huge, you know what I mean? What a denomination are you? Uh, Baptist. Baptist? Yeah. I love Baptist churches. Yeah, um, uh, you know, uh, and 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 the Baptist churches, did they sing the song "Our God is an Awesome God"? Yep, I, I love that song. I love good Christian music. I do too. Yeah, this Mr. P's grab and go. Is this good? Have you tried it yet? Mr. P's. Yeah, man. yeah, it looks freaking good. Look at that. I am not familiar that with that. Steak, man. Shit. Did it give an address? Um, it's if that Shell gas station on Main Street in Emporia. Okay. God, you never tried it. it looks freaking good. Nope. Yeah. You know, young, young, I mean, younger guys like me, when we hear Mr. P, we think like Master P, the rapper. <laughs> this guy, you know, he... He thinks food. Yeah, he thinks well, food. Well, you know, it was my size. Yeah. I mean, people like me and you think Mr. Rogers and stuff like that. You right. know, that's like yeah, a yeah. more of our time. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. God, so when did you graduate college? Uh, math. three years ago. Yeah, do the yeah. math. There you go. So, yeah. well, that would be 2021, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and can you believe yeah. this guy actually went to college? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah but it was a miracle that I made it through. <laughs> it was a miracle. I got, I, I got an F. I got a D. I got a C. Right. I got, I retook the class. I got an F and I got an A in it. I came back. You know, I you made it happen. It anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made That's it happen. Anything. Yeah. So did you, did you go to college at all, or were you just a career guy? Or? I went to community college for uh, one quarter. Same. And, same. and that was enough. So I oh, yeah, went dude. to work. And that's all I've done. Oh, already. isn't it great just being debt free? Yep. How much do you have in debt to pay? Oh, uh, my. Well, actually, you know what? I mean, it depends on whether or not. I mean, I was supposed to get a couple student loan repayments, but they, but Biden bounced the checks. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> so the Republican Party bounced the checks. Oh, they the Republicans. Well, yeah, no. Is she Republican or Democrat? Republican. Yeah, yeah, same here. My whole family's Republican. Yeah, no, I mean, I was, I'm kind of in the middle, but then when I saw that Joe Biden was giving out free shit to the student, I'm like, hell not, man, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not stupid at you. Yeah. I, mean, I didn't go to college, I shouldn't have to pay for somebody else's college. I don't, I don't think you should have to pay for it either, honestly, I don't think you should have to cover my debt, I don't think it's fair. So we, we voting for Trump this year, or? Yes. Oh, I'm voting for Trump. And, I, and I'm not voting for Trump so much because of the man that he is, Yeah. but it's because of how he runs the country. Oh, for sure. Uh, for sure. He runs the country like a business. He does. Which is how it should be run. No, and there's this guy that, um, he's, uh, gosh, he's like on some type of TV or something, but, you know, a lot of people are like, you know, he, he, he does a great thing, like, he really helps the community out. Um, lots of bad people kind of, like, you know, cower at the sight of him, but then a lot of people think the drawback is this guy's, like, super-duper racist, but, you know, he's doing a great thing. Right. And, you know... So they should probably, I, you know, my opinion is that all those people that say this guy's racist should just, um, you know, go f themselves, you know, because it's not going to change, but you know. Some of the, and the thing about it, some of the people that are calling him a racist are racist themselves. Exactly. That's right, yeah. You know, that's what gets me about it. I mean, dude, I mean, these people think that black people can't even get IDs. Right. Like, they just think they're that stupid. Yeah. Like, it's... Yeah. <clears throat> but that's that's good. Did you vote for it in uh, 2020? Yep. Did you get the vaccine? Yes. Okay, how many vaccines did you take? I think I had three, but I'm kind of contemplating whether I'm going to take another one or not. Uh, I, I wouldn't take one. I'm not. Well, I'm, actually, get I'm, that lean, I'm leaning that way, you know. Yeah. Do you feel that, so having three, do you feel that that's helped your immunity? I don't really know that it has. Have you gotten sick? Have yeah. you gotten COVID? Nope. Maybe, maybe, I maybe, would, so. maybe the Democrats are on to something with that one point, you I know. Just, my thing about it, I mean, I got it because, you know, I got the first two and then I got the, the third one as a booster. But, and, and only because of the, of the number of people that would, I guess, is the only reason I really got it. But 
my question about it is, how is it that they could get something like that approved in such a short period of time and all these other drugs, it takes years and years for them to get approved? I mean, one, one yeah. thing I know for sure is that Trump is trying his best for us. Um, he's definitely not part of the same team. It's definitely not a uh, Hegelian dialect or kayfabe. They're definitely not all Freemasons or anything like that. He's really working for us, yep. trying his best. And, you know, he, to he totally didn't spend just as much as Obama did and have a bigger federal government than him. He actually was trying to drain the swamp. He... Um, He's running the country like the country should be run. Oh, 100 percent. Like I say, I think he, to me, he runs it like a business. Right. And, you know, that's the way it needs to be run. And it, the whole thing with immigration, like all these illegals coming in under the Kamala regime, getting these free debit cards. Like, I want Trump to bring them in legally. Like, yes, please. I want a gas station in Pajit on every single corner as long as they have their freaking citizenship. Yeah, if they're paying the tax dollars. They're coming across the border. Legally. If legal. legally. Yeah. But, but we got so much coming in here now right. that, I mean, we don't know what, what, what they're bringing in as far as diseases, yeah. drugs, you got anything it. else. You know, it, and they just let them flood across the border. And that's that's my thing with that. Absolutely. I mean, no problem with any of them coming here legally. Yeah, right. I mean, like, I mean, I like Mexicans. I like Mexican food. I just think they should be paying tax dollars. Right. You know right. What I, mean? I don't care if that yeah. shop down the street turns yeah. into New Delhi rather than this old building here. Okay. Right. As long as it's legal, yep. geez, right? Yep. So a lot. Um, I mean, a lot of them are taking jobs. You know, like I know a Jew that employs two illegal Mexicans. Right. And. So they're not paying any taxes. Yeah, exactly. Like they, we, we could get two Mexicans that are American citizens that pay taxes to get those jobs. You know what I mean? I mean? Unbelievable. I, I, worked, I think they are legal. It, it was a landscaping crew that worked with part of the business where I was at, and they worked Mexicans, <clears throat> but they were here legally. Uh -huh. They were paying taxes and everything like that. Right. I don't have a problem with that. Right. You know? Right. Like, you know, to me, I think just I, I don't give a sh I, you know America's an idea. It's not really a country. Like I think, you know. Golly, if there's a, if there's a 50 million hardworking Haitians here, as long as they have the right mentality, as long as they're working their asses off, I want all my neighbors to be Haitian as long as they have their green card, yeah, they have yeah. their cards, right? That's, right? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Absolutely. That's how I feel, too. Yep. Yep. But um, we're going to call our friend Gunther. He kind of helps with um, internet stuff. And yeah, he's a, a student therapist. He's not. He doesn't have his license yet, right. but he helps guys with internet. Sure, the right uh, yeah, he's gonna give Gunther a call. But so Baptist, you know, I've I've been to Baptist churches. I love it. Yeah. I've been to Pentecostal churches too. Yeah, a little. He's been Baptist. Yeah, Pentecostal churches are a little animated. They like to run up and down the aisles. Baptist churches, the the old school Christian songs. I love it. Do you go to church every Sunday? Yes, sir. What's your uh, What's your favorite Bible verse? John three sixteen. John 3.16, uh, is that, um, oh, no, that's, I'm thinking of Romans 10.9. 3.16 is the way, the truth. For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, yep. his only begotten son. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, I mean, it's just like with his internet stuff. I mean, it's like uh, whenever uh, whenever Christ said, he, who, he without sin cast the first stone, or let he who without sin cast the first stone, and then everybody drops their stones because we're all imperfect. Right. And, uh you know that's 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 what I believe. I mean, I, you know, I believe that that there's a path forward even when people step maybe where they shouldn't step. There's always the path is always straight toward right. Christ. And uh, do you go to any like Bible studies or anything around here, or is it just church on Sundays? Just church on Sundays. You go with your sister? No, she, I can't get her to go to church. Oh, you can't she get. She says her? she's a Christian, but she doesn't need to go to church to be a Christian. She says. So, yeah. Uh, so every time, every now and then she'll go when uh, it's a special occasion or something like that. But other than that, she she doesn't go. So she she doesn't go like every Sunday or anything like that. Nope. Mm -hmm. Just Christmas, holidays, whatever. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Are you an every Sunday guy type of guy? Yes, sir. Any given Sunday. Mm -hmm. That's right. Good. I won't play. I won't go this Sunday because I'll be playing golf. But other than that, I go every Sunday. Hey, golf over God, in my book. No, I mean I'm, I, I don't play golf on Sunday unless like this weekend is a golf tournament, so I'm playing Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Uh, Otherwise, the golf on, on Sunday waits till the afternoon. Is that like a big local tournament, or is that just members? Oh, just members. Just is members. is, is so that here in town in Poria? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, man. Yeah. Okay. So it's like a, a country club. Yeah, we've got a country club. I don't know about two, three miles from here. Is it is it a beautiful course? Really nice course. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's awesome. How long have you played golf? Let's see, probably about 40 years. <clears throat> 40 years? Yeah. So, so after 40 years, what do you got your handicap down to? Uh, I, my handicap is golf. I think, I think Joe Biden said his was like one, that well, he shoots like a hole-in-one every time during the debate, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
I'm, I'm, I'm about, a, about a bogey golfer, probably. A bogey golfer? Yeah. That's better than me. I mean, I, I went golfing one time in my life, and I was miserable at it. It was like Happy Gilmore. Oh, I, I can't even swing a golf club right. Like, some, it's like, some stuff, my form is so good, but then other stuff, I'm just so uncoordinated. It's unbelievable. Like, I can catch football one-handed like this pretty easily, but golf, I just can't do it. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We're going to call a Gunther here. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll get Gunther on the phone, get you some mental health assistance. Just make sure that we fully got you back on the right path. Yeah, you know, because... Thing. Yeah. Gunther, I mean, he's incredible. Incredible. See if he answers here. Watch him not answer. I mean, he does help a lot of people. Yeah. So. Is the mystery going to continue, or is it going to be dispelled? A lot of people confuse, like, you know, like our, in our friend group, right. if it's me and him on the phone, they say that he sounds like me. You, you, you could tell me whether or not you think that's true. I don't think I sound anything like this guy, but I, everybody I, says I so either, that I sound like yeah, this yeah, guy. Yeah, you, you could be the judge of that, so. honestly. Hold on. God, he's not picking Oh, he's not up. picking up? Of, of all times for him not to pick up. He probably up. knows what we're doing, too. Yeah, he just wants, to, he just wants everyone to continue to think that... Yeah. He wants all of our friends to continue to get confused wow, between us. That is unreal, man. Yeah. God, I, I, I'm sure Gunther's well aware of what we're what we're doing right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, you know, he knows he knows like our schedule when we get to help right. people. So. Yeah. No. Um. Awesome, man. Um. Can we can we meet your sister? Cool. All right. Oh. The, one of the neighbors called. Yeah. The neighbors probably saw our cars and called. Let's just tell them that freaking story. Yeah. How's it going? So, uh, seems to be the issue here. We're, we're just having a great conversation here with Ben. He's getting his life turned around, but basically, there's some pictures of maybe some 13, 14 year olds you got to get rid of off your phone. It's kind of the gist of there, right? Yeah. And they're like some of these crazy kids that sent you. Yeah. Okay. And that's just only on your phone, not on your computer? Nope, just on the computer. Just on the phone? Yeah. Okay, okay. And what, what platforms did they send you their s*** on again? That was, uh, it was Facebook Messenger? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And some may, might have slipped onto your gallery somehow. Yeah. Possibly. Okay. Yeah. You said, right, so, wait, who, which one of you guys, uh, taking lead? Is, is, yeah, I got it. Can I speak to you right now? Absolutely. Yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, oh, the police... Show up, Ben, you know. We're just trying to get him back on the right path, you know. Uh, but, uh, you know, it looks like maybe one of the neighbors saw, called. Uh, so we just let him know what's going on. Let him know we're good to go. Right. Make sure that you're squared away, okay. you know. Um, I, yeah, I wonder if it was a neighbor's down down yonder, maybe. I, I saw another house down there. Well, uh, I mean, I mean, I don't know. I... But uh, he's he's vouching for you right now, letting him know that, you know, you're an honest, hard-working oh, Christian guy. No. Yeah. And, you know, we're going to make sure that we're going to make sure you're good to go. Because, again, those those conversations were so light. Yeah. Like, you were, like, barely s*** at all. That goes back to something like the time Bolt said. She's awful. Yeah. Oh, is there a Brooke that lives down there? No, that's my niece. She lives in West Virginia now. Oh, uh, what part of West Virginia? Which one is this? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we don't know. We didn't. But uh, you know, he'll 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 cover for you and talk. You know, vouch for you and you know. I mean, s somebody called him out here. We just have to just let him know what's going on, yeah. basically. Is that why y'all came? Uh, well, we we just came to get him back on the right path. He had some conversations with girls that were a little bit too young, but he didn't do nothing egregious, I mean, you know. So he, your 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 brother's a good man, you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, man, this is a uh, beautiful nighttime weather. I wish it was like this every night. Other than that humidity, the humidity that hits in the summer, oh, yeah. <laughs> that humidity in the south is bad. Yeah. 
Matthew. Oh, how you doing? Good. Hey. All right, so what are, what's going on? I guess you can explain better than I can. Yeah, um, do, you, do you got your Samsung phone on you? Yeah. Uh, so you said that there were some images of 13, 14-year-olds on there, right? Well, you, you, don't, you, don't, you don't have to, well, I mean... I don't, I, I, yeah, I don't you, know what it is. You don't have to open it, but basically some 13, 14-year-olds sent you some images on that phone. Yeah, I, didn't, I mean, I never requested or anything like that. I mean, they just... They just sent them to you. You didn't so request them. Just out the blue. Yeah. I mean, I might have been talking to them because they contacted me or something like that. Okay. And, and, and then they sent you, the photos. I, I never requested any photos. And you, I tried to delete them if, when I got them. Okay. So well, I'm not going to say all of them are gone, but I tried to delete all of them. Okay. Hey, Ben, now, uh, the conversations weren't super cool, but a, a little flirtatious uh, boyfriend, girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. So, so basically, the conversations were a little flirtatious, like boyfriend girlfriend conversations. You asked them if they had sex before and things like this. But did you send them any pictures of your? No, sir. All right. So some of them just sent you. That was it. Yeah. So after flirtatious conversations, they sent you. And do you feel like maybe the conversations went a little bit too far? I I don't feel like yeah, because you know, yeah. when they started sending like that then uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know. He's he's just going in there to talk with her. So it's we're you know, you know again we're covering for you the best we can. Right. Uh, but you know it is important that we're honest. Yeah, you know I'm trying I mean? to be honest. Yeah, yeah. But we're we're absolutely you know letting them know that conversations were not that. Right. And um, we're vouching for you 100. Um, well, percent I appreciate that. Yeah, we. I mean, Christians have to look after each other. You know what I mean? Like Christians have to look after each other, and there's there's redemption for everyone. Right. You know, the the main thing is just that the behavior stops well, after this. Our Lord and it is. It is. It is. Uh, you know the Lord's prayer? I don't know it by heart. Well, <laughs> would you be willing to say it with me? Sure. Because now, I mean. There's never not a good time to pray. Right. Always. I mean, I pray every morning. All right. Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And, you know, again, honesty, honesty is important. Like, 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 like honesty is, yeah, you know, especially if you're able to show some of these deputies, like, it, like if you're able to show them the photos so that they could contact the parents. You know, would you be willing to do that? Well, I don't know if I've got any of them. Uh, would, you, would you be willing to open up your phone for him so that he could see? Sure. We want to uh, see what, well, we're going to... Well, he, he said he'd be willing to open up the phone okay, to that, show you uh, voluntarily. Uh, um, that's cool. Um, but when it comes to stuff to this nature, we call our detectives out, too. Yeah. So we can interview him at the office. 100%. Okay. 100%. But, yeah, um, do you mind riding, riding down there? No, I mean... Okay. Can I bring him or... Um, I'd rather him just ride with us, but you, you can come up there. Okay. Where are you going? Just, just to the sheriff's office. Yeah, I need to, yeah, probably need to lock the house. Let me turn my volunteer up. I'll, I'll just put it in my book. All right, yeah, we're going to get in this. this All right, I'll get in a minute. All right, thank you. Ben, you want me to call me for you? No. Okay. Uh, I'll talk to the Come right, um, meet us at the um, at the office. Okay. He said he'd be willing to open up his phone and show you guys the news of the children on his phone. That's what he just he just said it in front of your officer. Mm -hmm. Your officer's taking him over there to lock up his house, and then he's going to ride with you voluntarily down to the state. I am turning video evidence of the cruise main video and my body cam to detect the house that is all on this flash drive. 
The suspect was not arrested. He voluntarily went down to the Greensville County Sheriff's Office and we believe that he had a consensual conversation with them and he either turned in his phone or it was seized. We're not 100% sure on that. Don't know that for sure, but he's not been active in his accounts since then, so we believe that they have the phone. Um, this was a, a uh, the angle that we approached this on was CSAM because he admitted to one of the decoys to possessing it, but he didn't get enough in the chats for him to get uh, arrested for solicitation, so that the angle that we approached it from was the CSAM angle to which he did admit to. So once that phone is dumped, we'll see what the Greensville County Sheriff's Office gets off of it. They seem like great guys. We trust them to conduct their investigation. And uh, we'll see what happens with it. Um, disclaimer on some of the things said during the interview. And, and again, I'm speaking for myself, myself alone here. So the the views that I express during the interviews while I'm talking to a criminal suspect don't represent my actual views. And uh, you want a suspect to be comfortable. You want a suspect to think that you're on their side. So if you're talking to a Republican, you want to uh, talk about how great Trump is and just give him a bunch of right-wing talking points. And if you're talking to a Democrat, you want to talk about how bad Trump is and give him a bunch of left-wing talking points, right? So. These are the things that you uh, that you do to get a suspect friendly with you and comfortable with you. Uh, another part of it is if a suspect is religious, you can also use that as well, and that offends a lot of people as well. But you know, I respect all cultures, religions, individual beliefs. I respect everybody, and uh, what's what I say during the interviews is uh, solely for the purpose of obtaining a lawful conviction. There's no malice in any of it or anything like this. It's uh, just interview techniques uh, used to make the suspect more friendly during the consensual conversations that I'm involved in with them. But it is, it is, it is important work. The goal of it is to make the community safer.